So hello everybody and welcome to another Power BI video. In today's video we are going to talk about report design, one of my favorite, favorite topics. Okay, so the Power BI team participated on the Gardner Summit on um, Europe and created this beauty. Um, everybody was crazy about the map, obviously it is the focal point of this design, so understandably so. So we're going to recreate it. You're going to see what it takes to actually do this. Let's get started. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, before I start, the most important thing of all, if you see a design that you like, you need to replicate it. It's not enough to just look and see, oh, it is a shape map, because there's always so much more. And the beauty of things always hides in the details. I don't know why, but it is what it is. So it's not enough to see that this is a shape map. You have to go through all the details. So I actually rebuilt the entire thing with a data set that I know and was curious about how it looked with this design. And that's when you actually see the amount of work that it took to create that thing. I obviously super simplify it and reasons to the madness. But anyhow, I'm going to show you how it looks for them. It's just crazy. Look at that. All these things is just for page one. It's like layer up layer of shadows and uh, crazy. But we're going to focus on the map because I think that's the one that requires perhaps most explanation of all. So let's go. Let's not waste more time. What I'm going to do is duplicate this page because we're going to butcher this thing. <laughs> so... First of all, the map. Let's click on the map and then you'll see that the map is a country code and access to electricity percent of population ESG data, right? So we're going to, on a new page, I'm going to actually change the background so it's white. So you can actually see, if, well, I should probably not do that. I'm not going to do that. I'll tell you why in a second. So we're going to look for country. I really, really recommend you that you recreate it with a data set that you like. It just makes all the difference in the world to actually learn how somebody did something. And then is the percentage of population. Thank you very much. And then this is a shape map. So shape map, you need to have it. It is a preview feature since 2014. So you need to enable it, the preview feature, and then once you have it, you need to go to shape, and they created a custom shape for that, which is nuts. So download the report and steal it, okay? And then the projection is orthographic projection. And as you can see, it starts to look kind of similar. Let's add the continent filter that they had. And we're going to put it like that. This is the theme that makes things look a little bit crazy, but don't worry about that. Um, and then you start clicking on it and you see that it's not doing, you know, the cool simulations and stuff that you had on the original one. So the original one where you actually select something and you just... Whoosh. Yeah, so why? Well, that's what I mean. You need to actually recreate things in order to be able how they work. The reason for that is... Let me show you. So we're going to pick our map. Visualizations, you probably wonder, what do you have the old format pin? Here's the thing, the properties on the shape map were not moved to the new format pin. They were not. And not only that, there are a ton of formatting options that were used in this report, not for preview visuals that are not on the new format pin. I was actually very, very surprised. And you know, after a lot of back and forth, they were like, okay, old format pin. It needs to be updated. It was not cool. One of the things, like, I was, because I know, you know, I did the just JSON theme uh, template, so I know a lot of the features. So I know, I was going crazy because I know that you can do this, but I couldn't find it on the new format pane. So I hope to fix that very, very soon because it's so confusing. Anyhow, zoom, out to zoom, and then you start getting the, eh? Look at that, how pretty. Okay, now, what is the difference? As you can see, this thing is on a square. And his map 
It's not on a square, or is it? Well, if you look at it, it doesn't look like a square. Like, where, where are the borders? Where is the... And that's where the madness, again, comes so beautifully done. So if we go to the selection pane, they're going to see that I have a layer called map. And here you have, obviously, the shape map, which is the actual um, visualization, map visualization. But then you have three other shapes. Let me show you the first one. And this is what I wanted to have the white so you see. And we're going to create a new page for that. I'm going to create a new page. I'm going to get rid of the background. So it's a white background. I want you to see this. And then this is the layer that sits on top of the map. Do you see what? I thought that they, they were doing that with a Photoshop or, or something, but they cannot do that. I realized it afterwards, and that's, again, you need to recreate this yourself. The reason why I cannot do, I couldn't, or well, they couldn't do it in um, Photoshop, and I couldn't do it because I was putting everything on the background image, is that it's going to lay the map, if you look at it, it lays on behind all the stuff. Now, they have layered everything in Power BI, so it's no problem, they can hide it, did everything in Photoshop, so all these elements are Photoshop, everything I can show you very quickly if I turn, you see, everything behind is a Photoshop thing. So I cannot lay that shadow thing on front because otherwise it's going to lay it on top of these. But I actually thought it was quite pretty to have the map going on these sections too, because for the first one you want to see you know, these parts of America, that's why this map, for business purposes, is not very good. But anyway, if you're just doing a show, or you're just, you know, showcasing Paria, yeah, it's super cool. And I really like the fact that it just goes a little bit into the other visualization. Some people will highlight, I thought it was cool. So I did not want to have this extra layer on top of it. But I can see what they will have it, and it just makes all the difference of the world. Now, if we move this in here, you start, do you see how it starts to disappear a little bit? Obviously, a little bit more work is required on here, so we're going to get rid of the title, we're going to get rid of the background, the border, no shadow. They had a tooltip, so let's keep it. And now it's integrating better in the background. And then look when I put this in. You see how it just starts to fade away? But it still looks like square. Like, look at it, it's a square. And it doesn't look like a square on his map. And the reason why it doesn't look like a square is because of the other two layers that they put in. Which is, let me... Grab, there's just stuff everywhere. Not sure exactly which I'm grabbing, so let's do it here. So, that one I don't want exactly. So, this is the one I want to copy. And I'm going to go here and paste it. So, this helps melt the corners of the shape map. And not only that, because that is that alone is just not enough, you still see this, the squares. If we go back to here, and we open the map, and then we grab the next layer, put it in there. And then we're going to put that in the back. Right? Okay. So now you need to start framing these. Wait, sorry. Let's grab the map. And we need to... Am I grabbing the map? No, because this is still on there. Let me send this to the back. Now I should be grabbing the map, maybe. No, it's still not map. Where is my map? It's maybe that one. No, that one. It's the shape.
Okay, so if you grab the map and now start to... What I saw when I started playing with this is that if you frame it in the white space and then you put this thing on top... You see that it's not really? So you have to play with it until you find where the proper... Ugh. Send it to back. Go back. And then let's grab our map. And then... You can just... You see how these colors blend? and how those colors blend. See, so you've got to play with it until you actually start moving things and you get the illusion, look, you get the illusion of a circle moving and you can spend as much time as you want. I, so be careful with that. I mean, there's no point of spending way too much time. But anyhow, you see how beautifully it was done and you see what it took to create, which is absolutely crazy. If we go back very quickly and look at other elements, I mean, it was actually very, very neat design. This thing here, so they have one for the uh, continent, and I thought it was so pretty that it didn't have a multi-layer slicer. So I don't particularly like multi-layer slicers. So this is quite cool because you pick a country, this beautiful thing moves, and then here you have all the countries, all the information for the countries. This is a small multiple layer as one chart at a time. Wonderful use of space, and also you don't need to have so many charts on top. These, they've used it already for the, um, uh, for the other report last year. Uh, I don't remember what it was. It was poverty or something. And it's basically the slicer is speaking a year one to one, and instead of filtering, it's just highlighting. You can see, and I've shown you previously how to do these things. You can see all the details here. So, I truly recommend you to reproduce it, recreate it yourself. Super annoying thing that still is here because the shape map is not preview. There are no, well, there are no legends in any maps, which is, is except obviously for the Ashura one and the professional ones, map box and stuff. But this is made just of elements like that. And that's, that's, not, that, that's not okay in my book. Maps should have a legend and it should be, the legend should be colored according to the values of the map, not just kind of. But it, it doesn't have a legend, so it is still on preview. And if we go here to the next page, I recreated also the bubble chart. Uh, it is a logarithmic scale, that's what it threw me off. And again, you have to create it to know. <laughs> so I think you should somehow it should be highlighted that it's a logarithmic scale because you maybe could, because of the shape of the data, think that it could be, but not everybody will get that. And this is a beautiful design matrix. Then you have the you, you know the typical stuff that they put on these the Asia stuff, so the um, key influencers, and yeah, I really really truly recommend you to recreate this with a data set that you like. Don't use this data set. Use another data set so you can actually go full blown onto what would you like to see and how would your data look in this template. So really, really cool. I think it would, did a wonderful job, but it was a little bit painful to do just because, you know, I was fighting back and forth between the new pane and the old pane because I thought it was just a shape map that didn't have the properties. Unfortunately, it was more than that. It was other visuals that were missing important for properties for conditional formatting. And uh, no legends, you know the drill. You know what I think already, so let's not hammer it in anymore. Do it. That's all I can say. And I will see you again on Thursday with a another cool video, hopefully. So, see you soon.